EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports! It's in the game, baby! EA Sports! It's in the game! NCAA Football 2005. to be an exciting bowl game. I'm Brad Nessler along with my partners Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet ready to bring you all of the intense football action. The Owls don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Oregon needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. He's a smart young man. And another thing, Oregon has an advantage in this one, and that's their passing game. I look for them to get good protection, throw the football all over the place, and play like one of those all-star teams out there. Temple has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. We should have a return on this one. Number 89 takes it from the six. Spins up field. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping on the receiving team. Now the so they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. They'll go to work at the 10. The Owl bring in the nickel package. It's the ball. No, they faked it. Short toss. And it's caught. He's knocked out of bounds. Eight yards on the pickup. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Ducks line up with two tight ends. They hand off on the counter. They'll bring him down. Two-yard pickup. They're down less than a yard. Ball on their own 20. They're crowding the line. Third and short, and they hand it off. The big guy with room to run at the 40. He's all the way down to the 46. And that had big play written all over it. Woo, did it ever. Great looking run by the big man. You're right, Kirk. That was a huge play. Ball on the 46. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. 
Throw short. Complete. Brought down. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. It's second down and six to go. Ball right around midfield. Number 11 with three wide receivers. He'll keep it on the ground again. Can't wrap him up. And down he goes. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. I agree with you. He's such a natural runner. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Owl. Line up in a nickel back. He'll dump this one off. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Oregon comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Looks, under pressure, rifles it right side. And it falls incomplete. They call it out of bounds. No catch. Good call by the official. The receiver made a tremendous catch here, but you can see clearly he didn't have possession of the football when he was in bounds. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Temple lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back. He steps up, looking, throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Didn't get all of that one. Number five calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 14-yard line. Well, we've seen one offensive drive stall. Let's see how this offense does with their first possession. They'll take over at the 14. Inside handoff. And they make the stop. A pickup of about three. Second and seven. Ball on the 17. Oregon lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Into traffic and it's picked off. And this one could be on the defense. Pass interference on the defense. Well, he got busted for getting to the receiver too soon. He will get a flag thrown on him every time for a play like that. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23. From the gun. They'll throw on first down. Here he goes. He keeps it, and he's tackled. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. First and 10, ball on the 41. Oregon has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And it's incomplete. They call it out of bounds. No catch. Good call by the official. The receiver made a tremendous catch here, but you can see clearly he didn't have possession of the football when he was in bounds. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Oregon comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. Shifty move there. Inside the 30 to the 20. And he's all the way down to the 11-yard line. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. 
on the 11 going in. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. Back to pass. He pump fakes, steps up, rolls to the right, and they get the sack. They can't block the defensive end, and he'll get credit for the sack. Excellent athleticism by this young man. He just beat the man in front of him, plain and simple. Second down, 14 coming up here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Six DBs in the lineup. Drops back and pass. Throws it to the outside. It's deflected. And it's knocked down. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. Third and 14. This is the seventh play of this drive. Temple comes out of the shotgun. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. And that one's fallen incomplete. Not on target at all this drive, guys. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up, and it sails through the upright. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. is lined up to kick this one off. Here's the kick. Number 20 takes it at the 8. Spinning. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 25-yard line. First and 10. Oregon goes with the ace set here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. Temple lines up in a dime defense here. on a counter and he's taken down nine yard pickup third down less than a yard ball on the 35 yard line Oregon will line up in a jumbo set here Complete. and they make the stop penalty marker down in the backfield might be a holding call First of the foul, walking the pass. Well, the First offense down. is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. First and 10, ball on the 26-yard line. a quarter of play. Our score is Temple 3, Oregon nothing. First it's and first ten. and 10. Ball on the 26. 26 yard line. Number 24, the lone back. Play action. Here's the long ball. Left side. Batted ball. Heck of a play by the corner to knock it away. And he's out there telling the quarterback, go throw it in my end zone. It's second down and 10 to go. 
All on the 26-yard line. Number 24 is the single setback. Nice play fake. Across the middle. Touchdown, Oregon! Look at that. For a second there, I could have scored that back end of football. Beautiful play. Yeah, I don't know if it was the offensive coordinator, the head coach, or just the quarterback checking off, but my hat goes off to whoever called that one. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number five, back deep to return. He puts it deep downfield. Number 28 fields it in the end zone. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Number 34, the lone back. on the ground with a tailback. And he gets a yard on the run. Second and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Owl set up in the gun. And they got him for a loss. It's an excellent job by the defense here to read the draw play. Yeah, the quarterback thought he could spread them out and find a hole for himself to run through. <laughs> they were having none of that, my friend. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. Temple lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Throws. And it's caught with the spin. That was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. He gets it off. Number 89 takes it to 47. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Start the drive at the 50-yard line. First and 10. They line up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. Here's the give. He's hit and got away. And he's tackled. A monster run there by the fullback. <laughs> You're right, Brad. That was a scary run for this defense. Coach, scary or not, you gotta wrap the big guy up. You can't allow the fullback to run wild like that on your defense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. Second down and 12. Ball on the 41. Temple brings in the nickel here. Looks. He'll dump this one off. 
Complete. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Third and seven coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Oregon comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Looking. He steps up. He's in trouble. And he just gets rid of it. Number 25 comes out to try a long field goal. This is going to test his power. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it's good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon ready to kick this one off number five and number 28 back to return kicks it off number 28 fields it in the end zone tries to spin the defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball the offense was not clicking at all let's see if they're back on the same page it's first and ten ball on their own 12 The Owl line up with three wide. He drops back. He's looking for his man. He has some room. And it's caught. A little juke. Brought down. What a catch. And that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense. But I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First and 10. Ball on their own 24. The Owl come out in a shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He talks to short. Complete. And they make the stop. Temple calls a timeout. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 30. Oregon lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. He might have a chance. He takes off. They'll bring him down at the 41. A big gain for the quarterback. I'll tell you what, guys. This guy's pretty athletic. Just like you when you played at the old Buckeye Stadium. I don't think this was a design play, but it worked like it was. And you're right. If I'm the coach, I'd let this kid run it more. First and 10. Ball on the 41. The Owl set up in the gun. Throws it to the outside. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Owl have five receivers on this play. Throws this one out to the right. His receiver has it. Good yardage there, and that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. First and 10, and this is the sixth play of the drive. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He's going right. Someone got a hand on it. Looks like he tried to force that one. And defense was in a zone there, and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing window to throw through. Well, that window must have been tinted because he almost threw a pick. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. From the gun. And he's taken down.
Third down and ten coming up. This is the eighth play of this drive. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. He's looking down the middle. It's deflected. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. Fourth down. choice but to go for it here they need this pass he's looking throws it to the outside and on fourth and long they convert it guys I can't believe what I'm seeing that was a heck of a play first and ten and this is the tenth play of the drive Oregon lines up in a dime defense here wants to throw outside Temple takes a timeout. They're in the red zone where last time they came away with only a field goal. And the defense was ready for that play. Boy, you better believe it. That play didn't have a chance. Number 11 is back in the gun. And they hit him in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no option. Oregon comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And they got him for a loss. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. Number 19 in to attempt the short field goal. Temple calls a timeout. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up. And it sails through the uprights. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Temple to kick this one off. Number 20 and number 89. Deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 89 takes from the 10. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Oregon 10, Temple 6. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 28 fields at the goal line. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. Three wideouts here. Here's the give. Little shake and bake move. And down he goes. The back gets three on the carry. A second down and seven to go. All on their own 26. Yeah. 
On the ground, up the middle. Brought down. Gain of a yard by the fullback. Now it's third and six coming up. All on their own 27. The Ducks bring in their dive package. Drop back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Complete. And now the ball is loose. First and ten. Ball on their own 38. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. Nice play fake. Across the middle. It falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 38. They line up in the shotgun. snap steps up in the pocket over the middle and it's caught they'll bring him down superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver and the result again a nice play for the offense third down and a yard and this is the fifth play of the current drive the owl come out showing three wide they go with the run and he's tackled. And the halfback runs for the first. The reason that play was successful is simple. They got a good push up front. All the back had to do was run past that little yellow line right there. It's first and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. Temple comes out in the shotgun. And they make the stop. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. Second and seven. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. The Ducks line up in a nickel back. Here's a counter play. And he's taken down. About four yards on the counter to the halfback. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Single set back for you. On the ground, up the middle. They'll bring him down. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. Yeah, and the defensive line won that battle easily. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Number 23 signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 20. At the 20-yard line. First and 10. Number 11 with four wide receivers. He drops back. Across the middle. And it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Second and 10. Ball on the 20. Oregon lines up with three receivers. The handoff brought down. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 22. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. 
The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it away. Number three takes it at the 47. He spins. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll start this drive at the 48-yard line. Temple comes to the line with three wide. He's going left. And down he goes at the 20. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First it's ten. first and ten. Ball on the 20. 20 Oregon brings in their nickel package. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside, and he can't make the catch. The wideout unable to catch that pass. Second and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. Temple comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Here's the option. They'll drop him for a loss, and they stop him on the option. Well, it has a nice job here by the defender of getting into the backfield and breaking that play up. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Oregon brings in the nickel here. He drops back. Here he goes. He's going to take off, and he's taken down. Well, he made him pay with that run. Yeah, the quarterback is so dangerous because he can beat you throwing or running. They're in the red zone, where last time they came away with only a field goal. And they make the stop, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Oregon 10, Temple 6. They come out in a five-wide set. Back to pass. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Temple. The quarterback threw a pretty ball there for the touchdown. But don't forget about the catch. The receiver made one heck of a grab, too. And he hits the PAT. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Number 13 is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 89 takes it from the six. Spin move. Breaks one. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made out of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll set up shop at the 27. First and 10. Number 11 has four receivers lined up here. Little handoff. Brought down. How 
about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right, because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. Right. First and ten. Ball on their own 44. Ah! Going with the shotgun here. And he's going to lose yards on this one. The quarterback draw, not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. Second, Second and 11 ball. coming up. Ball, ball on the 43. They come out with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. He had a very small window he was trying to throw to on that one. Yo, you call that a window? The defender had it shut pretty tight. That was a poor decision by the quarterback. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 43. Number 11 lines up in the shotgun. He's looking. He pumps one. He's under some heat. And they couldn't hook up on that one. They got to him as he was throwing that time. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Either that or sacked. I don't know how he got rid of the ball. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 36 gets it off. Number three fields it at the 19. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 25. They come out with three wide receivers. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. The halfback picks up a yard. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Setting up the play action. Throws to the middle. Incomplete. That ball was off the mark, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get back to basics. Hey, Coach, this guy looks like he's got his adrenaline flowing out there. He's a little bit too excited. Come on, Kirk. We almost caught that one. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on their own 26. The Ducks bring in the nickel package. He drops back. Throws this one out to the left. It's dropped. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Wow. Number 37 to pump this one away. Punts the ball away. Number 89 takes it to 33. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll get the ball here at the 38. Oregon goes with the ace set here. There's the play fake. Throws it to the outside. And it falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Second and 10. Ball on the 38. Number 24 lines up as a single back. They'll give it off here. And down he goes. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Number 11 is back in the gun. Let's it go. With the interception. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. You can't throw interceptions like that. You just can't. They'll start this drive at the 24-yard line. And 
he's tackled. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 25. Temple will line up in a jumbo set here. Again, he'll get the call. And they make the stop. The fullback gains about four yards there. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Three wideouts here. Back to pass. He's going left. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. They line up to pump this one away. Number 37 gets it off. Number 89 fields it to 35. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. Number 24, alone in the backfield, drops back to pass, throws. It falls incomplete. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. The Ducks line up with three wide. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. Batted ball. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big time playmaker, he better start getting Two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. Third, Third and ten. ten. Ball on their own 40. 40 yard line. Temple lines up in a dime defense here. Back to pass. Looks, throws it to the outside. It's deflected. That one could have been an interception. they have any choice here guys they're gonna go for it drops back to pass looking here comes the pressure he goes downtown and it's incomplete and they're gonna have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long not much you can do there you gotta go for it and give yourselves a chance they'll take over at the 40 yard line Down he goes. Oregon takes a timeout. And here's our Red Zone players of the game. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down in the open field. Oregon calls a timeout. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 33. Temple lines up in a goal line set. He drops back. He's looking. He's looking down the middle. What a pick! That interception puts him right back in the game. I wouldn't have made that throw, and let me tell you why. You got the lead in the fourth quarter. There's no need to take big risks right now. Play conservative. Let your defense shut them down. Right. 
They'll set up shot at the 21 yard line. Number 24 lines up as a single back. They'll throw on first down. Wafts this one out to the left. There he goes. And he's tackled. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He unloads it. And they make the stop. That last pass got him only a yard. The Ducks come out in the ace formation with the throw. They'll bring him down. Four yards gained. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. Across the middle. Got it. Brought down with only one man to beat. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. He's rolling left. Here they come. Throws this one out to the left. It's dropped. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Second and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Owl line up with six defensive backs. And he's hit as he throws. The ball is tipped. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. The intended receiver on the play. Third the defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Looks. Under heavy pressure. Fires deep down the right side. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball but couldn't quite pull it in. The field goal unit takes the field, and they'll look to tie this one up. It's up. And the wind's going to push that one just enough. He missed it. And that is a huge missed opportunity. Poor guy. He had a chance to tie it up there, and he just couldn't connect. Even his girlfriend won't like him tonight. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he takes a knee. Oregon takes a timeout. Second down and 12. Ball on the 38. And he'll take a knee. And he'll just kneel it here. And this ball game's over. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Temple really got all he asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2005. We hope you join us again soon. Again, our final score, Temple 13, Oregon 10. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.